welcome back to the self made auto channel so we've got this f-150 here that has some engine noise uh, in the belt drive area so pretty common noise doesn't have to be a f-150 but anything that runs with a belt and has idler pulleys is prone to making this noise where uh, you know it's your typical bearing noise it growls you can take the belt off noise goes away um, and that's one way to isolate, you know, take the belt off, go through, spin all the accessories and see what it is. But prior to pulling them off, we always like to do the old school trick, you know, stick the old screwdriver on the ear routine, you know, hold it up against the idler pulley and, you know, see, see which one's making noise. And uh, truth be told, you know, I mean, if you got a little short screwdriver like this, you know, you might not be able to get down into some of those and, you know, it can be semi-dangerous, you know, sticking your face up against it and, hoping it doesn't, uh, you know, catch on a pulley and, you know, skewer you through the head. Uh, so, I'm going to show you a life hack. And uh, simple as it may seem, it's pretty effective. But I just use a cut-off gallon jug. This is an old, uh, old Brain X washer jug. And what you do is you find a screwdriver handle that fits it good, and now you've got a megaphone. And it actually works surprisingly well, and it's a trick I've used for quite some time, uh, because now you don't have to worry about sticking your head down by it. You know, you can go through and you know go pulley to pulley you know stick it up against the uh, you know ac compressor then the power serum pump and all later and kind of work your way through and when you hit the bad one you know it it's uh you know this really amplifies the sound quite well uh hopefully the camera will pick it up and i'll show you and uh, we'll see how it works <laughs> Essentially, like I say, you know, we can start through, you know, we'll do the alternator, um, put idler pulleys on that side. This has, uh, looks like four idler pulleys, AC compressor, power steering, alternator. So, simple as that. Like I say, just find a screwdriver that fits good. We'll shove it in there. That's the alternator. for what's normal. screwdriver not really high tech however it seems to be pretty effective and like I say you can stick your you know your ear on the screwdriver and do the same thing you know be careful if you got any danglies uh, you don't want this baby sucking you through the fan or anything like that or like I say you know often you stick a screwdriver down there you know you whack the you know you whack the fan you know I think it pop back and next thing you know you look like this but uh, be careful use common sense uh, but now we have some direction we can you know pull the belt just by pulling the belt and we're not guessing well, you know was it over here was it over there because sometimes these under hood noises you know it's in the front but you know it's hard to decipher left or right or uh, honestly i thought it was going to be the upper idler pulley just from the way it sounded it did sound like it was up much higher than uh the tensioner which is down quite low but uh now we know and the only reason i would say it's good to get some direction prior to pulling the belt is because like a wheel bearing or like any other bearing sometimes it can make noise under load you know tension of the belt on there but then you take the belt tension off 
and you spin it and you know you can be really indecisive eh, it doesn't really sound bad this one's pretty bad this one may be growly once we pull the belt uh, I'm gonna see if somebody has a belt tensioner for this before I take the you know effort to tear it apart and uh, if they do we'll get one coming and we'll tear it apart and we'll see what it looks like or see what it sounds like with the load off from it belt tensioner off and we can say we made the right call That's that. So this one you easily could have done by removing the belt. Uh, the noise is pretty obvious. Uh, I did, however, go through all the other pulleys and just give them a flick. You know, spinning the water pump, spinning the alternator, spinning all the idlers. Everything else sounds fantastic or doesn't sound like anything. So that is fantastic. And uh, we made the right call. So waiting for the new one to show up. We'll put it on. We'll start it up. And uh, it should be nice and quiet. Well, that escalated quickly. Uh, so apparently the parts that we ordered weren't on the shelf, so I had to pull it outside. We just got this random snow squall. Can't even see out there right now. That all happened in about a minute. I just had to pull it in because I didn't want to work on something dripping. see how the little jug trick works so make sure you try that out or if you have any other uh, tips or tricks on how you guys do it uh, to isolate noises that are quick and easy uh, put those in the comment box below and while you're down there click the subscribe button if you haven't done that and make sure you click the notification bell uh, so you stay up to date when SMA rolls out a video uh, we can also be found on Google Plus, Facebook, and now on Patreon. So be sure to check us out there. Links in the description box. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.